What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Oh My God, There's a Crab Under a Rock. My name is Splattercat. We were playing some Stardew Valley today. The game is not called Oh My God, There's a Crab Under a Rock. That would be a massive naming failure on the part of this game. However, welcome on back. We're going to be hanging out, going down deep into dungeons. I think we've got time today. I'm going to push it. I'm going to push it real, real good. And I think we're going to try and make it down to 110. I don't know how far down the dungeon goes. It could actually go down way farther than I expect, and if that's the case, then we may have trouble getting there. Oh, there's a fire quartz over here. Yeah, give me that fire quartz. I'm gonna eat this bun, too. It says there's something inside of it, something unidentifiable. I'm assuming it's like the body fluid of the monster that dropped it or something, because it, if it doesn't tell you, it's probably dubious. I doubt that it's gonna be like nougat. Most foods are identifiable. Like, when you eat something commonly, you're like, Oh, this is a sticky bun. What is inside of it? It is more than likely that, like, cinnamon sugar stuff. You know, like, you have a rough idea when you put something in your mouth from the flavor and the texture what it is. Well, that would be kind of a funny mini game to cover people's eyes and have them try to guess what's inside their mouth. Guess what's in your mouth? There's a fun game to play. Fun for the whole family. Bring the parents and the kids along for a game of what the hell is that pink thing? Did it just shoot me? That thing just popped caps on me. Nah, I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with that. Monsters around here running around all... Janky. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Why are you bats so violent? Like, why can't you just go about your batty business? Just be yourself and let me be me. I don't want any more fibers. I'm gonna eat this hazelnut because it's in my inventory and it's in the way. We're picking up so much treasure right now. There's like gemstone thingies everywhere. So let's grab these emeralds. Couple more goldses. Got a red mushroom. I don't recall if I had the red mushroom for my collection. It might have been the purple mushroom that I needed, but I'm going to hold on to it for a second. We'll check our collections in a minute. I'm actually trying not to pause the game this time around, because spending time on menus is actually the main cause of us not getting anything done here. And I think I could... I wanted to see what happened if I don't go into a menu much the entire episode. I wanted to see, like, if we could pass more days more quickly. Three more floors to go. I doubt we're going to be that lucky. Oh, there we go. Maybe I spoke too soon. Ow! Shot me with a laser of blindness, and now I gotta go apply for disability. It's messed up. I used to be a farmer, so I took a laser beam to the eye. Somebody did some unauthorized ocular surgery on me in the middle of a dungeon. And now I'm just all grumpy poos about it. I thought I saw something up this way, so we should at least look. I don't know if there's anything too awesome over here. And frankly, if we're trying to make time, I should probably just go down the stairs. I doubt we're going to find anything, like, super interesting over here anyways. It's just going to be, like, more of the same stuff that we already have. We have so much gold right now, though. That's a really, really good thing because we can make, like, 10, 15 more sprinklers. And those 10, 15 more sprinklers will make our lives way easier when we expand into a second field. Probably won't matter until... I think you can plant, like, mixed seeds in winter. I... Oh, hey. That was quick. Now that we're on 110, what are these? The space boots. An iridium weave gives them a purple sheen. Okay. The sheens should do more breathing if they're turning purple. Those in right there. Now I gotta walk around with purple-ass shoes, though. I don't think we properly thought this one out. Like, I don't want purple shoes. I saw a guy in the mall one time who was dressed like in an all-purple suit and he had purple shoes and he had like a purple fedora hat on and they had a boa constrictor around his shoulders and he was using it to start conversations with women. I always thought that was kind of a weird strategy. Like, if your engagement strategy with women requires props, it may be time to go back to the drawing board and just like start over. Dost thou needest a new sword? If? Um, I don't know, Lord British. I've got my obsidian sword. What does some of this stuff do? This steel falchion's pretty dope. The bone sword. It's a level 10 sword. What is my obsidian edge? It's a level 9. So the steel falchion is like the coolest thing that I can get right. Oops, I bought it on accident. Well, I have one now. 
Hooray! So it does 26 to 38, 30 to 45. That one's slower, though. And this one attacks super fast. Oh, yeah, it does. That thing goes hella fast. Okay, I like speedy weapons. Speedy weapons make me happy. And I like how it's bladed on one side, too. Looks like I'm going after my enemies with a machete. And machetes are intimidating. Somebody whips out a machete. You take notice. You'd be like, ah! He's got a machete. You identify the object very, very quickly. Whereas if they pull out, like, a stick... Or if they pull out like a broom handle, and you're like, oh, well, that's not too bad, I guess. But like somebody pulls out a machete, you're like, oh, shit's about to get crazy out in here. It's about to get tribal. It's about to go down for real. That was a good time on the radio. That was a good time. Around the time that song came out, the radio had a lot of good music going on. Right now, it's just like I turn on the radio, and the only thing that's bumping anymore is E40's got a new track that's slapping. But that's about it. Yay, cranberries. Cool. 15 cranberries for the cranberry throne. There's thrones for everything. That's what I think most people don't realize. The Chaos Gods have really, really, really expanded their operating base. Just to include just everything you could think of. Cranberries. I mean, geodes. They have a nice collection of those. I've never gotten to look at it because they're stingy about it. And I have Butterfingers and they're worried I'm going to break it, but... It's still, it's a thing. I will throw these. Nope, I won't. I've already got those. Okay, so I'll probably just sell everything that I've got right now. I don't think I'm going to need the gemstones anytime soon. And I have, like, a lot of gemstones. Like, I'll drop off some of these little things that I have less of. But... Mostly I'm feeling okay. Let's swing down south. Honey's ready to go. I was going to sell the cranberries and everything else in my bag so we'd at least make some money today. Eh, yeah, get rid of the bomb. I don't feel like storing it. I mean, I, I could say I, I really would recommend you keep bombs just in case you need to blast your way through anything. But in actuality, I just end up never using it. It just sits around and then I got to keep it in a chest somewhere so I don't worry about it too much. I'm not going to like weep myself to sleep over a randomly lost item in a video game. And I know I need the honey to turn in for the packages. I'll do it later. I like to dedicate myself to one thing at a time. I have tunnel vision. Vision as though I was in a tunnel. Oh, look at that. We can transmute gold. So we got pickaxe proficiency. And on the 25th of fall, we got about 2500 actually $3,500. Good. Made a little bit of money there. That's positive because I spent 9000 of my monies on a sword. This is exactly why I can't be entrusted with adult life, is because I go to rent fairs and I buy dumb shit like $600 sword. No, I don't, actually. I would be furious with myself if I did something like that. Gotta have restraint. There we go. And I think this is all amaranth over here. Eggplants are back in. What a good day for a heart. What are these? Oh, bok choy. Okay. I forgot that I'd even planted that. I didn't even remember planting it. I was like, oh, we got bok choy now. Okay. Yeah, I planted the bok choy because I think it grew in like three days or something like that. It grew very, very quickly, which made it a great crop for just kind of filling in space. I'm sure it probably doesn't sell for much. What is that, like a artichoke card or something? I'll have to go back and look at it again. Mail time. What do we have? Notice the chill in the air? It could just be the approach of winter, or it could be the tinkle of our, the tingle, the tinkling, <laughs> those R. Kelly specters. The tingle of a dark specter, here to help us celebrate tomorrow's festival, Spirits Eve. Come to town at 10 p.m. if you'd like to participate. Tonight? Get rid of all that. And then what is this right here? A sweet gem berry. It is by far the sweetest thing that you have ever smelled. Oh, the sweetest thing. I like fried artichoke hearts. I'm not a giant artichoke fan, though. My girlfriend loves, or my I guess she's my fiance now. Anyway, she loves artichokes. And that was not a food that my family ate. Like, we just did not eat artichokes. I don't know why we never had artichokes, but we never had artichokes, we never had asparagus, we never had any of those sorts of things. My house, we always, has, we always had corn, green beans, and carrots, sometimes lima beans, if my mom was feeling particularly vindictive and just wanted to bring down the hammer on all of us. 
I will say there was like a direct correlation between how mad she was at us as kids and the amount of lima beans that were involved in your average dinner. <laughs> I would do it too, though. I'm so fickle. If I was mad, I'd be like, you know what? Y'all get nastiness. I'm giving you, what is this right here? I'm going to give you sweet and sour and spicy and bitter green beans that I dropped on the floor four or five times. That's what you get. That's what you get. Behold the power of the mom. Be careful about it. Moms are vindictive. Mine is. My mom's hella scary. There's a lady in my town who has a bald spot from when she got in a fight with my mom in high school. Like, no joke, my mom tore her hair out and she has a bald spot, like, to this day. Like, gnarly shit. <laughs> my mom, my mom is kind of hardcore. My mom goes. My mom is, like, one of those people who's, like, really passionate about stuff. Like, she's, like, down for the fam. Down for friends. That's probably where I get it from. She gets heated real easy when it involves, like, friends and the people that she represents. Not so much anymore now she's getting, like, older, but still. Hope my mom doesn't watch this video. <laughs> I'll never hear the end of it for calling her older. Just be the end of the road for me. Where the hell? Cow! Why are you so far out here in the boonies? I need your milkses. Give me your bodily fluids that you feed. You ever think that's weird? That we, like, drink the bodily fluid of another animal? I don't know. I thought that was kind of odd. We've talked about this before on the channel. Where I was like, who was the first guy that grabbed an udder and was just like, yep, I'm going to suck on this thing. And I'm going to derive sustenance from it. Like, we've talked about that. But for real, though, it's it's weird. I guess desperate times call for desperate measures. I bet that's what it was. Somebody got real, real hungry and real, real desperate in the middle of a season with no real, real possibilities. And it was just like, well, got to suck on a cow teat. Let's go do this thing. It's working for the calves. They seem kind of fat. Maybe it'll work for me, too. Although, when you milk a cow, there's, like, chunks of grass and shit, and it's gross. Like, when you milk a cow, you pasteurization, I think, is a largely overlooked... I I think people overlook that process a lot, and they underappreciate it, because, like, milk straight from the cow is kind of... Eh. I don't know. I don't think we have time to plant anything else. It doesn't look like there's any winter crops that we can make use of. Yeah, so anyways, now that the crops are out of the way, I'm going to build a few more walkways. Perfect. We're going to go back and we're going to sculpt our house a little bit. We're going to make it look a tiny little bit better. Tomorrow is Spirits Eve. We should be able to make it there without too many problems. So long as I keep myself from pausing the game too much and running around accomplishing nothing. We're going to do some landscaping. We're going to make this place look a little bit more neat and organized. I'm going to try to get the next plot set up so that it'll already have the sprinklers. It'll already have everything ready to go for whatever the next season is going to be. But first things first, I got to decide on a location for our new crop farm area. And so because I put the barn over here... Sort of puts me in a weird situation. I guess I could put one down here. This doesn't seem too bad to me. Let's go ahead. We'll chop some of this. And we'll try to make a little bit of headway here. Alright, so that looks good. I am going to need more gravel paths or whatever. But I shall concern myself with those shenanigans later. So we drop this off on this side. There we go. Make this look a little bit more natural. Well, a little bit less natural, I guess. Natural is not the look that I'm going for. Cultivated is the look that I'm going for. We'll chop down this tree on this side. The cow is going to watch fascinated as we take a wedge of metal and chop down the tree. That, that was its favorite tree. The cow's got to take one for the team right now. Not much I can do for him. I should probably turn in my hoe for upgrading too. Yeah, let's do that. Let's definitely do that. But in a minute. I'm going to chop down a couple more trees. I just want to get this entire area cleared out. I also missed a spot on our little road right there. So unfortunately, I know that's driving the OCD people crazy right now. The ones that really want to see perfection in the air. Unfortunately, I have no perfection to give you. I am what I am, and what I am is a clumsy man. Who doesn't pay attention? I don't like referring to myself as a man either. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I think of myself in my head as like a kid, but I'm like 30 now, so I don't think that qualification works anymore. 
It's strange how your own designation for yourself doesn't really change. I don't know. Maybe it did for other people. I've lived my life as immaturely and just like resisting the pattern and flow of time as much as possible. For other people, maybe they embraced it. They were like, yeah, this adult thing rules. For me, adult life has been a marked failure. It has been the worst. I think I messed up. There we go. Perfecto. I will probably, as I said, I think I'll probably get rid of a couple of these trees right here. And then we'll find another spot for them, or maybe we'll expand them out that way so that we can have a larger field over here. I just like having the fields lined up, and so I know some people are going to be mad that I took all the time to plant these, and then I just bulldozed them right after. But it was a poor choice. It was a poor choice. All right. So over here, we're going to need another stone wall so we can put it in an enclosure. I need to grab some metal and take it off to the blacksmith. So that we can upgrade our hoe. We can have the golden hoe. She's pretty good at what she does. No lie. He, it, whatever. I've got pine cones right here. Gonna put them in my beer. Alright, so that's done. I want the gold bars. I want that. Maybe I'll just take it up to iron level. I don't know. Maybe I'll just take it up to iron because it's gonna get a little expensive if I if I go all the way in on this. However, throw the wood in there, clear out our inventory a little bit further. I'm excited to use the quality fertilizer. What a weird thing to say. I'm excited about using quality fertilizer. What has happened in my life? What has happened? All right, that's done. Don't think we're going to make it to the blacksmith. I dithered too much. 30 minutes to make the race over to the blacksmith's office seems unlikely. I think he closes at 4 o'clock, so... We got our purple shoes on, and they've got lightning bolts on them. So we're running like a kid with new shoes on. Oh, my dad used to make me run when I had new shoes. He'd be like, do they make you run faster? And he'd make me run across the store. That's just like a thing my dad would do. He'd be like, do they make you run faster? I need to see you run across the store right now to see if those shoes make you faster. Go! And I would take off. And he'd be like, yeah, I think I saw, I think I saw like an 8% increase in speed right there, buddy. Good job. I think those might be the shoes for you. Keep giving gifts out. Maybe it's because I'm giving them the same gift every day. I forgot to look this up. Maybe it's just like a cap on maybe you have to do like a certain event or something yeah 4 p.m he done locked me out i tried to make it i tried so hard can't seem to get away from his hurry what else did i have nothing man i screwed the pooch on that one all right well let's go give out gifts then i see no reason not to didn't she like not like no she liked it Green Hair Girl and Abigail, I think, were the ones that didn't like the... Apparently, there's cool stuff in the trash cans. And people were recommending that I should go through trash cans. And then also, I should put glasses inside of my trash compactor. Because apparently, it does something super awesome. Hey, stop that! Gross! Oh, that's interesting. Yep, just giving out my mayo to everybody in town. Who wants the mayo? You wants the mayo. Do you want the mayo? So don't loot trash cans apparently in front of people because they get all hoity-toity about, Ooh, you can't loot out of my trash can. There we go. Just giving out as many gifts as I can because it's the end of the month. So I'm just trying to throw as many things as many people as I can. All right. Back to the west so we can be the best. I'm going to use my gold bars to make myself some more sprinklers too. Like I may, I don't know, let's make like nine sprinklers, and then we'll see what we have left over in terms of supplies. That should be enough to get us started with a small field, not like an amazing one, but a good enough field to where next season we'll be able to fiddle around with it. We got some more honey right there, which is going to go straight into the sales box. I should probably actually think about checking, oh, I needed heaters too. Yeah, oh, I got a heater for there, but do I need one for the cows as well? I bet I do. All right, remind me. I'll go ahead and we'll buy one in just a little bit. I'm going to close. Cows, everything good in here? Yeah, we need a heater so the cows don't freeze to death. That would be bad because they were really expensive. 
if not doing it for animalian reasons, if I'm not doing it just to keep my cows happy, if this is going to be something aside from personal and pecuniary, it's because it's a kind thing to do as well. I don't want my cows to be cold. I want them to be happy. I think these tappers... Oh, there's one right there. I figured we get our oak resin. I'm probably going to hold on to the oak resin just in case. Just to make sure that I don't need it later on down the line. We got a little bit more mayo over here. I make plenty of mayo. We'll sell it off. It's kind of early. But there's not really that much to get done. I could build some stone walls and I guess I could start the outer field. But it's it's a task that needs to get done, but it's a task that we could save pretty easily, too. Throw the glasses inside the compactor. All right, so there's the outside stone wall. I'm glad the stone walls last forever, by the way. The wooden walls breaking down was a big bummer for me. I'll probably have that go to right there. And I don't know how tall it's going to have to be. I'm actually going to have to, like, figure this out. All right. There's one, two, and three. That's actually about the right size right there. That is about the right size. And then if I just do sets of three, like so, I mean, I guess I could just plow the whole field and put the sprinklers in the applicable area if I wanted to do it that way, too. It's always an option, I guess, but all I wanted to do was make another field out here so they can make a bit more money once the next season comes around. These are obviously going to fill in anyway, so there's not a whole lot of things I can do to stop that from happening. But I just wanted to mess with it in my head and get an idea for what I wanted it to look like and what I wanted it to feel like. We got refined quartz out of the glasses. Somebody, I thought somebody said you got iridium out of the glasses, but I did think in my head when they said that that it sounded really, really unlikely. I was like, mm, I don't think we're going to get iridium. Iridium seems like it probably wouldn't happen. All right, bedtime. Perfect. How much money we make today? A decent little grip. 3500 That's nice. And so today we've got the Festival of Halloween, the Festivus, the Harvest Festival, the place that we go to dance in front of the moon naked and do all that crazy shit. I saw that, like, what show was that where the druids were dancing all naked? And I was like, that seems like a party. We need to bring that back. Just saying, society, we need to bring back naked druid dances in the forest because that seems like a party right there. Ooh, but cool. I didn't think we we're gonna get another harvest before the end of the season, but I will absolutely take it. Very, very nice. Couldn't have asked for better. I'll probably hold on to some of the sunflowers just for later. Let me see what I've got stocked up in my fridge because every now and again somebody hits you with a quest for something from like off season. And so I try to make sure that I save at least a couple of all the things that I harvest just in case somebody asks for one. But everything else can be sold so that we can make a little bit of cash today. Probably put you in there. That sounds good. We got to milk the cows today, but we got plenty of time to do that. It's 6.50 in the morning. It's really, really early right now. I don't know how my fiance does that. She gets up every day at like 4.30 for work, and I'm just like, nope, not me. I'd be like, well, I need to quit this job. I can't do this anymore. I like night shift. I've always been a night shift person. I like working from like... 5 p.m. to like 1 or 2 in the morning. That's my favorite. That's when I feel like I'm the most productive. Alright, chickens. Do you love me? Do you love me? I wouldn't, lo I wouldn't trust the love of a chicken. I don't know. Look, they're trying to spell something out for us. The aliens. They're coming down. 
fixing my fields. I like how we automatically get reputation with the cows, though. Oh, that one has no milk. Okay. That or I was facing the wrong way. I was facing the wrong way. Well then, before I forget, let me go ahead and milk these. It's actually physically painful for cows. They get infections and stuff if you don't milk them. It's, it's not so bueno. It's kind of bad. You probably want to make sure that you milk your cows if you have dairy cows. They get all kinds of problems if they aren't properly milked or if they aren't suckling a calf. Hopefully it has no milk. I missed somebody, damn it. Hardy has no milk. Where's my other cow? Oh, there it is. It's over in the greenhouse. Couldn't find it. Perfect. A little bit more milk to be had. I will continue to convert that into cheese. I'd also like to get some of the brewing barrels ready to go for the off season so that we can actually have like an entire wheat field that's specifically for growing beer. It'd be pretty sweet to run our own little microbrewery out here. We're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. This is Stardew Valley. I will see you later on. Hi do.